struggling earth river mining cement has been placed under administration in a move to give the farm a lifeline to recover from huge debt it incurred. Muniu Thoti and George Wero of Pricewaterhouse Coopers will take over the management of the, com of the cement company. The move is in accordance with the Insolvency Act, which allows financially struggling companies to put their house in order. Earth River Cement becomes the second after Nakumat to be placed under the Insolvency Act. At the same time, the Nairobi Securities Exchange has a suspended trading of Earth River Mining shares for a seven-day period following the placement of the company under administration. Well, let's bring back in uh, Ali Khan Sachu to just uh, get his quick comments on this. And Ali Khan, if you can hear me, this is one of the very big surprises we are seeing from uh, Arthur River Cement. It has been uh, making profits for the last nearly five years. And uh, the rain started beating it just two years ago. And of course, we did see a very uh, uh, passionate appeal there from uh, the outgoing CEO saying that uh, the company can bounce back. I don't know, what are your thoughts about Arthur River Cement? It's really an extraordinary story. I remember a time when it had a market capitalization of $600 million. Today, it's less than 10. Uh, if you want a definition of boom and bust, this, um, this is it. Uh, it's a great shame. Um, this uh, Arthur River Cement was built up over many years. It was nimble, agile, um, but the unraveling has happened so fast. You know, only a few weeks ago, the outgoing CEO was talking of an investment from IFC. Um, uh, you know, it, it's it's been it's created whiplash. Every other week, there's been a different story. But I think the announcement of administration tells you that we've now. Uh, hit the line. We're, we're at a point when uh, you know no more money is going to be availed unless everybody gets a clear 360 view on it. And I think that's what people are looking for. CDC, which is a very big investor, this is the old Commonwealth Development Corporation, put in 140 million dollars not so long ago. That's now worth about five. So Ali Khan, from uh, from your Assessment, uh, what is the future of the company now that uh, we have it under an administrator? And of course, we did see Linus Gitai being appointed the new chairman. So I, I think clearly we're going to have a situation where the administrator, Linus, um, new management are going to take a very fresh look at the situation, look at the assets, try and work out what assets have economic value, what makes more sense to sell off these assets? I'm sure, for example, there are buyers in Tanzania for the Tanga plant, which was, a, which was a relatively recent one. So I think it's really a question now of uh, looking to work through that whole receivership type process, establish exactly how much is owed to whom, what are the, what are the, what are the uh, assets, the cherries that can be picked and money can be recouped. But essentially what we're seeing here is the people who've got most of the money on the line, the CDC, are looking for a new fresh, a fresh pair of eyes to look at this situation. All right. Indeed, we shall definitely be keeping tabs to give you the full story around other river cement. And many thanks there, Ali Kansachu, joining us Pleasure. via Skype. Just trying to make sense of all this development in 